Hey, thanks for listening to the Amlin In The Mix podcast. Here, you will find all the latest in music technology, software and hardware, interviews and more. Also, don't forget to check out the Amlin In The Mix YouTube channel today. Now, let's get into the podcast. I used to think of my life as a trap star. I used to think of my life as a trap star. I reckon on the beat. Hey guys, welcome back to the Emlyn in the Mix podcast, season three, episode 43. Today we're going to be checking out UVI's brand new instrument, Soul Bass. But before we get to that, of course, we're going to be talking about all the latest and greatest in music technology, software and hardware, what has been happening for this last week. I'm going to go over that with you guys today. Now, for those of you who are new to this podcast, what is it about? Well, I think I've just answered that for you. And for those of you who are regular viewers and and listeners, thank you so much for joining us time to time again. If you are listening to us on Spotify or watching us on Spotify, because we do have a video there as well, or if you're just listening on a podcast where you can't watch us, then head over to YouTube after you've listened to the podcast to check out the video. But then if you're watching us on YouTube, you know the drill. You can check it all out here as we do the live demo of Soul Bass today from UVI. And big shout outs to UVI for letting us check it out. Now, support link down below if you want to shout me a coffee. I got my trusty coffee here this morning. Hopefully, keeping it hyper for you guys, keeping it fun and light. And without further ado, I think we just get stuck straight into the podcast today. Now, if you are watching us there, of course, you'll see a very ominous picture here of this man in sort of like a lab suit and a white backpack. What is this all about? Yes, well, I thought this would be an interesting topic. Teenage engineering has come out with not only some apparel, but also just some bags and stuff. If you have teenage engineering gear, this might be of interest for you. I thought this was kind of cool because it's very teenage engineering style. And I know that teenage engineering has been a controversial, but fun topic for 2022. I've I've absolutely adored what Teenage Engineering has done this last year. Yes, it's expensive and yes, there's been complete complaints left, right and center on the price of their products, but they sort of make they make desirable products that no one can afford. And it's amazing what they what they make is actually amazing. So I absolutely adore Teenage Engineering. Yes, I know I've only got their original OP1, which I got after like 11 years of wanting one. So that's literally how long it takes to get their products. Not necessarily. I mean, if you got the dough, you can just go out and get it now. But if we have a look here, you've got a field bag, which actually looks pretty cool. It's all in white. My only concern, of course, is that, you know, you're going to get it dirty. I mean, he's putting a banana in here if you're watching it here. And I just don't think that banana is going to rub it the right way. <laughs> I mean, surely it's going to... This white color, I, I like it, but it's going to get dirty quick. Okay, so they got like a sash where you can put your OP1 field here. Anyway, you can shop a bunch of their success accessories and I just think they look pretty cool. And they've actually surprisingly got quite a few different bags here. Like if you are watching it here... You've got a backpack, you've got the field waste bag. So you can have your field OP1 field that is a brand new OP1 synthesizer on like a bum bag around your hips. You've got a shoulder bag for the, oh, that's the OP, OB4, which is the speaker system that they have. It's like a Bluetooth speaker system. You've got the field large OP1 bag. And you've even got an OPZ bag here. They've even got small TX6 bag for your little TX6 mixer, which they only released this year. Like, honestly, if anyone is to win an innovation award this year, it has to be Teenage Engineering for their innovation. I mean, especially this year. This year with the release of TX6 and the OP1 field, definitely worth a mention. If you love Teenage Engineering, you're a Teenage Engineering fanboy, which I would love to consider myself. I just, I don't have enough of their gear to really consider myself a fanboy, but I, I do, uh, maybe I'm a fanboy. I do like what they do. Yes, it is expensive, but yes, it is freaking cool. They got some shirts here, which look really nice as well. Anyway, head over there. I thought this would be a bit of fun. They got a whole accessory lineup, which they just dropped this last week. All right, and other news, which is pretty cool. This has not been available for a while. It is the Lumi Keys Studio Edition has now 
just there's only limited amount of these so if you did want to get these they've just released a limited amount again with five days shipping now keep in mind these aren't available in every country so you're gonna have to check the website if it is available in your home country but at least for the us i know it definitely is in the uk you can definitely pick these up i know for australia for example uh where i'm from these i don't think they ship there but anyway just check your country and where you can get these but these are back up and available again so basically what is the lumi keys edition well light up your sound with the world's first keyboard controller offering per key pitch bend and polyphonic after touch plus whole key illumination that sparks new ideas for playing and composing available in the lumi keys studio edition bundle so what do you get in this bundle basically you get that little light key uh 25 keys or two octaves there and you get rolly studio software which is really good software we've reviewed it here on the channel you get a bunch of expansions actually you get the evolving classics collection you get the dimension art sound pack and you get the synthetic resistance sound pack in this bundle for 299 usd or they have a wow you can pay per month deal here i'm seeing more and more music companies having like these payment systems which can be kind of cool if you just want to pay it off over time hopefully interest free now this is mp as well so if you do like that or you want to get into mp or have something that has that four dimensional pitch bend keyboard then this has actually got it i've actually got one here i don't know if i can show you hang on let me just show you guys maybe yeah there it is off to the side which i'm going to be playing the um soul bass with as we get towards the end of this podcast we'll do a live demo of soul bass by uvi but a lot of fun the pitch bend mp technology behind this is very nice the key bed is very nice and i don't think it's that expensive for what it does i think it's a very nice key but it does feel plasticky to touch but it when you it, when you press down you've got the after touch and then you've even got that mp in there as well you can actually feel it and it just gives an extra dimension of expression so you got per key pitch bend and polyphonic aftertouch whole key illumination expandability through magnetic connectors rolly studio software suite and a bunch more features there one other cool thing i will add which i can't see here on the website but you can actually uh, in rolly studio uh, rolly connect sorry you can actually change the scale and then it lights up which keys are actually in that scale. So if you aren't very musically inclined or you know the scale of your song, but you don't actually know what keys those are in that scale, it'll light up for you. So you can actually play along to your song in the correct scale. It's actually a really cool little feature. Anyway, check it out. These are only available for a limited time. I thought it was worth a mention. We love Rolly here on the podcast. Big shout out to Rolly. And if you want to get them, they're only going to be available for a limited time. And you've probably, maybe you've seen them in people's studios and you're like, oh, I want one of those lighty key things. And you want MP. This is the trick for you, okay? All right, let's move along to our next piece of news. This is just an update from Isotope. I thought it was worth a mention, but they are dropping Iris 2, Break Tweaker, and Trash 2. So if you have those plugins by them, which are great plugins, by the way, and I'm not sure what happened here, but I guess the support is finishing with those guys. I know that these particular plugins were, you know, they were designed before the merger with Native Instruments. So I don't know if it probably doesn't have anything to do with that i'm sure that they're just focusing on the future of their new products different products that they have now but anyway here's the announcement isotope products rs2 break tweaker and trash 2 are no longer available for purchase from isotope.com so uh basically they're from a certain date where is it if you have purchased these plugins fr- through isotope.com within the last 12 months we will continue to provide you with technical support and updates to address critical issues that arise for up to 12 months so if you purchase them basically yesterday before they dropped it you'll still get 12 months of support but the support period of these products will end on october 27 2023 for all users and they won't be actively test compatibility with these products on new operating systems. So basically, when you get new operating systems on your computer, these plugins may not work anymore. They may be buggy, they may crash, so forth. If you loved these plugins, or are you still using these plugins, please leave a comment down below because I'll be interested. I haven't used, to be honest, RS2, Break Tweaker, 
I do like Trash Tube, but I haven't used it for a long time. I like all those plugins, actually, but I haven't used them all for a very long time. Is this sad? Is this bad that they're dropping the support for these plugins? I mean, don't isn't there a Break Tweaker 2? And it, that's not on this announcement. Break Tweaker 2, maybe there's a second iteration of that. Anyway, is this bad news? I don't know. I just thought it was worth mentioning here on the podcast if that's something that you use. All right, next piece of news here comes to us. This is just a sale. And I say just a sale, only because in a month's time, the sales are going to be ramping up. All I'm going to be talking about is sales because we're going to head into that Black Friday madness. But it looks like these guys have gotten on the boat early. This is the only one I could find this week. And this is pretty, this is a pretty good sale, actually. So this is from Sonox. If you've been eyeing off the Sonox plugins, they make really high-end plugins, a bit like Waves Audio, but but more even maybe higher end. These guys hailing out of the UK here, they've got some massive discounts up to 40% off in some instances. I would just want to mention because if if you've been eyeing off Sonox, now would be the time. In fact, they've got up to 75% on. Some of the plugins are up to 75% off. Like for example here, this is just a drum gate here native was 170 pounds is now only 42 pounds just to give you an idea of the difference in price now usd i'm not sure what that is i haven't got it in usd but you can change it here on the website but definitely worth checking out if that sonox plugins are something you desire or that you have wanted or you've seen before or you want me to show you guys on the podcast here at some stage do let me know but they do have a deal and maybe they're just getting in early for the lead up to sale madness next month All right, this next one, this may have been out for a little while, but it only caught my eye this last week, and I thought I should show you guys just really quickly. It's called Cashmere Chain. I hope I'm saying that right, or K-S-H-M-R Chain. And I thought this was a very interesting plugin. Basically, you can copy and paste your plugin chain. So if you have, like, if you have a workflow in your digital audio workstation not going to say door because some people don't know what i'm saying i'm just kidding if you have a a workflow in your digital audio workstation and you have like a particular chain you use all the time this plugin you can basically save presets of the different plugin chains that you have and then just load them with a click i thought this was a very a very cool little idea yes not a free plugin unfortunately but it's still I think this could be valuable for those who who like to have their time back, for example, not just loading plugins. This could be a really efficient way of getting your sessions ready. So Cashmere Chain is an innovative utility that instantly copies your plugin chain from one track to countless others. Say goodbye to copy and paste. With Cashmere Chain, you can fine tune the settings of plugins across multiple tracks with a single twist and hear the cumulative effect of those changes in real time. Great for working with vocal stacks or groups of instruments so it's only 29 bucks if this is something you value having more efficiency and it's cool it even puts it into categories so you have category presets like your delay chain your reverb chain and then you can see what's in each individual um, you know how your each plugin is actually what the preset is for it so with cashmere chain you can fine tune the settings of multiple tracks with a single twist and then hear the accumulative effect of those changes in real time that's cool that's cool. So you could actually select the preset and then you'd hear those changes actually occurring in real time. The plugin has been developed in collaboration with Kashmir, who Kashmir is an artist. I don't know if you've heard of him before, makes some cool kind of, I actually don't want to say what kind of music he makes. I'm probably going to get it wrong, but I'm pretty sure he makes electronic music, whose philosophy is that an efficient workflow helps you to stay creative. That's that's true. And with this in mind, the plugin also doubles up as an intuitive organizational tool, scanning and stacking all your plugins in easy to reach categories that make sense for producers. So look, is this a new plugin? Probably not. I'm not entirely sure, but this is the first time I've checked it out and definitely was worth uh, mentioning to you guys, because if you like streamlined workflow and efficiency, check out the Cashmere Chain. I think that's a really cool and innovative plugin. I know it's not an instrument or effects plugin, but It's just something to keep things, the workflow going. All right, next piece of news here 
is the COG module, a new expansion for COG module, the General 128. Now, some people might find these sounds a little bit cheesy, but these are bread and butter sounds. I'm going to play a little demo back for you here. This makes me happy because this reminds me of the days when I used to make music on my Casio. They're better than that, though. They're better than my old Casio keyboard, okay? So COG Module is a high-quality virtual instrument app for iOS featuring a professional sound library that includes a stunning high-quality piano and a wide range of keyboard sound engines. And the latest version is now available with a new expansion sound library, General 128. You can use the expansion pack sounds in the Glasgow Gadget and Korg Gadget 2 and as an AUV3 plugin indoor software like GarageBand to add more variety to your music production. And you can even enjoy a seven day free trial. Wow, I didn't know that. Of General 128. The free trial is available from Module Series Store page. So, General 128, in this expansion pack, you'll find 128 essential high quality instruments sound like piano, electronic, piano, strings, brass, synths, and much more. All instruments are organized in the familiar general MIDI order, making this collection easy to use for playing live or music production. Yes, that's true. If you are playing out live, this could be definitely is a great instrument to have to hand. Let me play it back. I might skip along because it is quite a long demo, but I'll play back some of the instruments just so you get an idea of the sounds, okay? Yeah, some people might find some of the sounds a little bit, I get it, they'll find it a little bit synthetic cheesy, but there's still bread and buttery sounds that you could use in your music production. Let's have a listen, here we go. I mean, this is, this sounds good. All right, let's move along to some other parts in this demo. Not bad. Yeah. All right. You see what I mean? You're going to think some, some people are going to think those sounds are very synthetic and cheesy sound. It's not meant to sound super duper realistic, but it is more for your bread and butter production. And I like it. I like what it's bringing to the table here. Now you can get the Korg modules free if you have iOS, iPad, or the iOS iPhone and this expansion isn't free, but you can then have a seven day free trial, check it out, see if you like it, hook up a MIDI controller and away you go. That's general one to eight, new expansion there from the Korg module series. Bit of fun here on the podcast. All right, let's get to our main feature today. It is of course from the boys and girls at UVI. Big shout out to UVI. Thank you so much for letting us check this one out today. Now there's an intro price on Soulbase. I'll have a link down below, no affiliate, from UVI for this one, but you can definitely click the link down below to go to their website to purchase. Brand new right now, 59 USD for the intro price, 40% discount, and they'll lift that intro price on November 6th. So hopefully you hear this podcast before then if you like this instrument. So what is modern? What is soul bass? Sorry. Soul bass is a modern bass with soul, modern instrument design with vintage heritage. Deeply recorded and edited, immediate and inspiring sound, highly versatile, comprehensive mix, and tone controls. So we've got a little bit of an intro here. Let's play this back here. Hopefully it's not like a... No, it isn't. Here we go. I'm going to play the video back first. Nice. 
nice. So you can hear just in that demo there how, I mean, obviously they made the bass sound more prominent, but how good does that bass sound? Now, is this a bass that's going to rival the Moto bass? I know earlier this year we checked out Moto bass 2. I think so. I think Soul bass sounds really good. Now, Soul Bass has a few tricks up its sleeve, which we're going to look at in a sec. So, meet your new bassist. Soul Bass was designed to give you an immediate and inspiring bass partner, ready to help you create the perfect sound for your track. From stripped down classic bass and amp rigs to double tracking with the synth, synth bass and beyond, it's all here with tons of room for tone shaping, dynamic performance, and plenty of built in effects. And modern sound vintage Soul, make no mistake, Soul Bass is a modern instrument capable of shining in any number of mixes and musical styles. To achieve this required a careful blend of old meets new supporting multiple play styles, key switches, amp models, and effects. The results is a powerful blend of vintage and modern hardware and techniques presented in a way that puts your creativity first. So you do have, you have like this sample, like the electric here, if you, ha if you are watching here, on Spotify or YouTube. So you've got the electric amp, which is like your real sampled bass, and you've got a synthetic bass here, which is sort of blending the two to get it its own unique combination of sounds. But put together, of course, sounds amazing. Now, today when I show you the live demo, I'm gonna be showing you inside the UVI workstation, which is a bit like Native Instruments Complete Sample Rompler. But let me just read a little bit more back here before we go to the live demo. So ready to play with a generous selection of handcrafted presets. You can instantly browse tailored studio setups to find the perfect bass sound for your project. Meanwhile, hundreds of built-in patterns are available to help kickstart your writing, all of which can be fully transposed in real time and edited in your door of choice. Thanks to the MIDI drag and drop, a perfect combination companion to Soul Drums. I will show you the MIDI drag and drop too. It's really simple. Now it's deeply editable, so Soul Bass sounds amazing right out of the box, but the, for those of you who want to explore the sound a little bit more, you'll find deeply configurable instrument, offering extensive control over both electric and synthetic bass layers with performance and play modes, hand position, and many more extended parameters to customize not only your sound, but your performance as well. All right, and then it just goes on uh, basically saying how they came up with the sample instrument, but I think that's it. You guys, you've heard enough here. Let's just quickly jump over. I've got a soul base here ready to check out and I've got it loaded here in Ableton Live now. I have actually, we jump down to the sound banks here for soul base. I've got it on finger bridge mode at the moment, just letting you guys know. Now that'll load uh, 1,203 sample instances there. So it's a, it's a hefty instrument. It's not a small instrument. So we're on the main page here, but you got four pages here. You got your edit function here. We can edit the electric base, which is your real base sample base and your synthetic base here, which I click on that will take me over to that. And you got your FX section here. And you've actually got, this is your master effects section, but you can actually go into each individual. So there's your synthetic effects section and your electric effects section. You can link them here as well if you want to. And then lastly, you've got your sequencer, which we'll go explore in a sec. But let's come back over here to the main page. And I've got my keyboard all linked up here. Let's just have a quick listen. So this is just your initial preset, nothing loaded here, nothing exciting. And it just sounds really good straight off the bat. Now you can actually change the mode here to glide. So when I play, see when I play across the notes, it's actually gonna slide across them. Or we can have it on legato. So just different, nice little touches there with different play styles. You've also got sustain, harmonic, play mode, ghost. So it's really cool that, and they've even gone to the extent of hand position. So you change your hand position as here as well. And it's got some very simple controls like level and plant pan here. 
and you can solo it and turn it on or off here so you can only hear like the synthetic one which we haven't got anything on here at the moment let's let's turn the synthetic saw on so you can hear straight away right but you can blend that so i can have the synthetic down hopefully you can see that i wonder if i can move that across there we go cool so i can actually blend in here this is just this is not a anything preset, but I could start creating my own preset, of course. So I could like, I don't know if this is a very nice sound, but I got a bit of saw and an electric sample bass here. It actually sounds pretty cool. And then of course I can go through different uh, waveforms here, sine. Can't really hear that. Oh, that gives a real deep end. Really responsive, nice sounding instrument, actually. I have to say, sine saw. Whoa. I like this blending thing. I think that's cool. What else have we got here? We've got a square. That's probably a bit hot. I'd have it. Nice. Really cool. And if you click on the actual presets here, waveform, you got it down to triangle tune noise you've also got vintage digital modelization analog here it's crazy you've actually got heaps fm digital world can't even hear that let's turn it up a bit so we can hear it oh trippy wow just totally changes the sound analog i won't be able to show you them all here on the podcast but just give you an idea a little drive here we go whoa i mean i wouldn't have it that loud so you'd turn up your bass a bit more. So you can see straight off the bat, you can have a lot of fun with the soul bass. Sorry, I was just moving back to my page here. You can have a lot of fun with soul bass, as you can see. Now let's get stuck into looking at some presets. So let's just pick one here. Go to, we'll go through them one by one, clicking. So these are just presets that UVI have got for you here in the finger bass bridge the playing style we'll go through a few here contra finger nice now you're probably getting sick of hearing me play the same notes over and over that's where the sequencer comes in handy and we're going to jump over to the sequencer now so you got a bunch of different presets for the sequencer. So you got soul, you've got funk, you've got rhythm and blues, disco, pop rock, jazz, and utilities down the bottom here. Let's I'm going to kick things off with of course soul because being that it is soul bass. So let's choose one here, pressure, and I've got this deep hiss preset here. So we'll do pressure pattern one. Let's have a listen. Now, the cool thing with the sequencer is, say you were happy with this sequence and you wanted to get it into the key of your track, you can do that by just changing the scale here very easily. So it was F and you can even change the swing and you can even speed up the tempo so it's double or half time. And then this is the part I wanted to show you with the MIDI drag and drop, super simple, just click on it. And then literally, I'm just dragging and dropping it into Ableton Live. It's going to ask you if you want to import the tempo changes. Just press no. And there I have it. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, if you are watching us there, you can see I've got it loaded up into my door. But anyway, we're not going to do that today. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to uh, click and drag the pattern from the sequence. All right, let's check out what else we got. We got Marvin. This will be sexual healing, is it? Maybe. I just changed the scale, F sharp. Nice. Suspicious. All right, let's change the preset. Let's go through some more presets. Digital, ah, uh, Digi Slap, Seinfeld. <laughs> Thumb Surf. Oh, that's cool. I like this Seinfeld Digi Slap one. Just a really cool sounding bass, actually. With that, being able to blend it is really cool. Let's go disco. Oh, yeah. 
it's funny. A nice preset. That sounds cool. That sounds good for disco. Nice. I like that. Flowers. Nice. <laughs> wow, it's really disco. Roller. Seven ish. Seven ish. Let's have a look. Nice. This is 110 BM, so I'm guessing at 110 BPM we're going to have it sounding how it's meant to be heard. Here we go. Nice, funky. We've got the bees, Bee Gees, I'm guessing. Let's go through another preset here. Let's go to pop rock. Cavaliers. Nice. Not using up too much of my CPU too, I have to say pretty good actually considering this is a sample rumpler with lots of samples going paranoid oh yeah all right hopefully that gives you a taste of the instrument itself and the sequencer i think last last two things we'll look at real quick of course you got your edit here which we won't bother going into too much detail but that's pretty straightforward you've got your electric you got your amplitude your filter here so you can change the shape of the filter and the depth uh if i was to maybe i'll play that sequence actually can i play it from here here we go so go back to effects sorry edit i don't know if this is even on ah oh, here it's not on so yeah, you got, I can change the shape of my filter here. Decay, attack, sustain, release. And what else? We got pitch. So you can change your pitch here if you wanted to. I don't know why you'd want to do, <laughs> do that because you can just change the key anyway in the sequence. And you've got your voltage, reference, key tracking and velocity down below. And same with your synthetic. It's, yeah, it's the same same setup here with being able to get in. Just sort of really change the sound to your liking. But this is the fun stuff. Let's get over to the effects. Lastly, you've got your effects here, okay? And this is where you can have a bunch of fun. So on your electric side of things, you've got a tube screamer, Thoris, phaser, feedback comp, tone stack, and a convolver. And on synthetic, yeah, it's the same. Now, I wonder if you can swap these out. Not entirely sure. Then you've got a master effects here as well, which has your send effects. And you got presets here if you wanted to just change. This is for reverb presets, but you could change your reverb presets here, acoustic spaces, hardware spaces, spring and echo, etc. Or you can turn it off there as well. You got your master EQ and master compression. But let me play the sequencer back here and just show you. I think we've only got a tone stack and a convolver here on the electric bass. So put a tube screamer on. Thoris, yeah, chorus. Really put the depth in. Get some, that's funky. Got a phaser as well. Just some nice feedback comp, here we go. Turn a tone stack and convolve villa off. And if I go back to my main, I could turn down the digi slap. There we go. So we're just hearing the effects from the electric bass. Nice. And actually I put a bit of Thoris on our synthetic one. 
and then just turn it up a bit, sort of get your own sound digi slap. So you can see, actually quite intuitive. It's actually, although it might seem a little bit overwhelming when you first look at it, it's very intuitive. You've just really, you've only got these four main pages here with main, edit, uh, being able to edit each sound, your effects, and then your sequencer, which has drag and drop. All in all, very nice instrument indeed. I'm going to leave it there, but I hopefully have shown you enough of UVI's Soul Bass to give you a better understanding if this is something you want or need, or you've enjoyed it here today. I'll have the link down below. No affiliate link for this one, but big shout out to UVI for letting me check out Soul Bass today. Modern Bass with Soul. Have absolutely loved the sound of this, and is it a contender against Motobass IK Multimedia? I think so. I think this could be a new bass love of mine. I love sampled bass. I love original sounding bass, but having the ability to blend in the synthetic just gives an upper edge of creativity and making new sounds. And I really like that. So I think big Kudos to UVI, actually, for this instrument. I think this is a rocking instrument. Anyway, have you enjoyed the podcast today? I hope you have. I hope you've enjoyed a little bit of calm before the storm. I know I say calm before the storm. Last week, we had so many hardware drops. It's so... This time of year, we really don't know. We're just sort of going to review products as we lead up to the end of the year because this time of the year, there's not going to be many new drops. We're sort of going to head into holiday season, but I'm still going to do my best to show you what has been happening in the world of music technology, as I do. If you've been following me, you know the drill. What do you think of today's podcast? What was your favorite topic here? Do you want to get teenage engineering accessories? Are you going to get a Lumi Keys while there is a limited availability? Definitely check that out if that's something for you. And what do you think of the Sonox? Sonox is having a sale. Cashmere chain is pretty cool. Or General 128, cheesy, but a bit of fun, a bit of bread and butter synthesizer action there and are you sad about isotope dropping 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 rs2 break tweaker and trash 2 leave your comments in the comment section down below thank you guys so much and again shout out to you guys for letting us check out soul Bass today we'll be back next week of course with an amazing fantastic awesome podcast as usual stay tuned for that make sure you subscribe to this podcast however you do that and subscribe to the youtube channel if you're doing that you might as well Leave a like on the way out. Peace out, guys. Be you. Hey, thanks for listening to the Emlyn in the Mix podcast. Here, you will find all the latest in music technology, software and hardware, interviews, and more. Also, don't forget to check out the Emlyn in the Mix YouTube channel today. Till next time, keep it real.